mid-March here in Texas and it is probably 77 feels like 80 degrees got the AC running don't use it often at all uh, but it's one of the perks of having short power um, I, I won't go camping in the summer it's just too hot um, early spring late fall is the only time I'll go camping but I need short power to do it because I'm a baby and I like my AC and uh, yeah gonna be a good week gonna get out and ride the trails check out Tyler State Park and uh, get in some exercise, eat some good food, enjoy family. It's happy hour right now. I'm a happy guy. Not used to this power stuff. I had to go over and uh, steal a extension cord from my mom because we didn't have one. Got to plug in the sous vide, the vacuum sealer. Again, this power stuff is not up my alley. Not used to it. I'm used to 12 volt living off the batteries. First meal of the weekend is going to be sea bass in the sous vide cooker. We're going to take these to an internal temp around 130 and then bring them over to the cast iron skillet and bring that temp up to 145 and put a nice good char on both the top and bottom. Hey Holly, what are we having for sides? We're having asparagus and salad. Didn't know that till today. I'm going to throw this roasted garlic and herb on it. Oh yeah, that shit's good on everything. Shit's good on everything? Everything. This is a this is a Jim Klein special right here. Weber roasted garlic and herb. A little bit of that. And then we're going to have uh, the Goss All Purpose Rub from Meat Church. Now, put them in a bag. I'm gonna try to make all these fit, we'll see. I should have been doing this while I was vacuum sealing the fish, but I didn't. 135. Right, I'm getting hungry, I can't wait any longer. Fish is going in, in the bath water for about 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Some asparagus that are seasoned. Go ahead, throw them in the bath there. I'm hungry. Let's go. Sea bass has been in the bath for almost 40 minutes. I'm not waiting anymore. Put a little bit of oil. This is probably going to smoke because that cast iron is hot. Yep, there she goes. Two. Don't tell her I took more. <laughs> Clean her up. Oh, look at that. Does that look good? You like sea bass? I do. It's delicious. It tastes good. The first one was sea bass. So good, you gotta try this guys. Sea bass, sous vide, and then sear it on a cast iron skillet. And then the other one we're gonna do is that filet mignon in the bath on the cast iron skillet with butter. I'm gonna go enjoy the night. Father-in-law's got a fire going. Just enjoy spring break with my kids and family. Start off the day with a little zing zang. You might want a Bloody Mary. Ooh, can't be wasting alcohol now. It's a little splash to go. We're sous vide and wings for lunch. Now that we've had our Bloody Mary, it's time for the next sous vide meal. Chicken wings, never done this before. We're gonna try it. 165 internal temp, got the bath at 158. We're gonna get this to 160 and then I'm gonna take it over to the barbecue grill on the Weber and put a nice char on it. And that's when I'll season it as well. 
And what are we gonna use, Jimmy? We're gonna use Weber roasted garlic and herb and a little bit of lemon pepper. We did this last time when we were camping up at Blue River and it was probably the best wings I've ever had. So we're gonna try it again. So this is kind of an experiment. Let's just throw these things in. I'm gonna let these things go for probably an hour and a half. Woo! That song bitch is hot. So we'll take these off probably at uh, 10.30, 11.30, about noon. And then uh, perfect time for lunch. And then we'll get the uh, coals going nice and nice and hot. Put a nice char on these things. Should be pretty good. While we're waiting on the wings to finish in the bath, testing out this little cowboy caviar the wife made. Mmm, so good. Woo, that boy is hot. These are juicy. Juicy, juicy. So I'm gonna throw them on and then I'm gonna season them. All right, let's try these things out. Once again, roasted garlic, garlic and herb, excuse me, and lemon pepper. I gotta get a new lemon pepper. This is old, it's tacky. Sous vide for about an hour and a half at 160. And then we seared them on the uh, open coals of the Weber. Mmm, that's good. I think the key here is you get a nice good char that happens quick. The meat inside is cooked with the sous vide. So you can char them up in a couple minutes, but all the meat's cooked to the bone. That's good. But this is a win. That's the joys of camping right there. Mm, mm, mm. So tonight, we are sous vide tenderloin. Cut up cubes of tenderloin, and we're gonna do shish kebabs. All right, we're gonna throw these in the bath water. Got it set for 129 degrees. Gonna cook that internally, so when I throw it on the Weber grill, the shrimp doesn't overcook, so that's the plan. 129, probably let these go for 30, 40 minutes, maybe an hour, and uh, get the charcoal ready, and get the shish, shish kebabs layered up with pineapple, peppers, uh, shrimp, and then we'll throw the uh, steak on when we're ready to go. Sous vide weekend, here we go, spring break 2022. You know? Next meal up on the menu this weekend, shish kebabs, shrimp, pineapple, peppers, onions, and that filet mignon. Let's get it on the charcoal. What do you think? It's good. Shish kebabs camping? Let's try it. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's good. This is not undercooked. Oh, that's good. Grilled pineapple. It was good. I forget how good that is. The last meal of our sous vide weekend is going to be tenderloins. I've got some prime tenderloins I picked up from Costco. One of them is uh, butterflied in half. That's how like, the wife likes it. We're gonna dress these right now with uh, butter and uh, salt and pepper. Put it in the bath for about 45 minutes to an hour. Slide it right over here. Put it in the vacuum sealer. Lock it down, vacuum it. I've got the bath water at 125, and then once that's in there for about an hour, we'll take it over to the cast iron skillet, and we'll put a high, high heat sear on both sides, then turn it down to low or medium, and then we're gonna sift it with butter for a couple minutes, and these, these things will be done. Yeah. 